two holiday doll cakes. Yes, today we are creating a Mrs. Claus and a gingerbread gal. These two doll cakes look stunning, so let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Koali Pops. My name is Viola Davis. I'm really excited about these doll cakes, so let's get started. Let's create these doll cakes. I'm starting with two separate doll cakes, a green one and a red one. I wanted the inside of these cakes to be striped, so I knew that I had to bake two cakes, cut them the exact same thickness, and then just interchange the colors when I stack them. So we got red first, and we're gonna be adding a layer of green, then red, and then we're gonna top it with the green layer. I knew I wanted striped. It's just gonna look stunning when I cut into this cake. Now I'm gonna add a crumb coat, and then I'm gonna add this really thick ring of red fondant. This will make it so that I have some wiggle room when it comes to creating her waist, and I won't have like a seam where her waist is. Oh, so I covered it with fondant, and I just started to arrange all of the ruffles at the bottom of this cake. <sighs> And then in goes Mrs. Claus. Look at that, see that ring of fondant really helped because I can maneuver the fondant around her waist and then I only have one seam to create her top, which is really simple. Just a triangle, except I rounded the top and then I'm gonna add this really nice thick fur shawl. Fake fur, you guys. No animals died while making this cake. Which, good segue, because today I'm gonna be highlighting the ASPCA. Are you lonely, like me? Do you need a companion since you haven't seen anybody for four months? Well, you're in luck because if you log on to the ASPCA website, you can find a local shelter. Kitty cat, you need to be quiet, okay? And you can find yourself a kitty cat, or you can find yourself a puppy, or you can find yourself a good senior dog. They'll love you forever, and guess what? No COVID, I promise. So log on to the ASPCA and get yourself a friend. Now let's get back to this cake. So after I finished with the shawl, I started to paint on some magic sauce and then I'm adding this really thick piece of white fondant to create all the fur at the bottom. Yeah, I did this with like my Queen Elsa cake. That cake was sick too. Oh my god, do you know how much detail went into that cake? Never again. Too lazy. I'm too lazy to do that again. But it's the same, I did make this probably a little bit more thick because I wanted it to look extremely fluffy. And again, if you don't want all this white fondant in your mouth, just peel it off, throw it in the trash. <laughs> oh, what did I do next? I forgot. Oh, I painted it. So I'm adding some red luster dust to Mrs. Claus's dress. I want it to look like velvet. You know, just shiny and soft and slippery. Oh gosh, this looks, oh my God, that does look really nice. <laughs> it looks really nice. After that, I added some, what are those? I think they're like snowflakes. I don't know, I'm from California. So we got some sprinkle snowflakes going on and I'm adding some white pearl sprinkles just to look like snowfall. Look at that, oh my gosh. On my Animal Crossing island, it's snowing there too because I time traveled. And voila, Mrs. Claus is complete. Look at that, oh my God, it's so simple, right? There aren't that many details, but that color is stunning. And when we cut into the cake, oh my gosh, hurry up, you're taking too long. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Damn, that looks good. Now let's get to the gingerbread gal. So for the gingerbread gal, we are using the rest of the cakes. So I'm starting off with green this time, which means we got red, green, and we're gonna finish with the red layer. This was actually hard because I ended up making the fondant a little too dark. Originally it looked like burnt gingerbread, so I had to add a little bit of white fondant. Just make my fondant a little bit lighter. I'm actually glad I took the time to redo the fondant because it made all the difference. In goes our gingerbread gal. And look at me creating that seamless waist. There's only one seam to create her top, and her top is really simple, it's just a circle. And if there's anything you notice about my doll cakes, it's that almost all of them are backless tops because it just makes it super easy to create. Now painting on some magic sauce. And then I'm paneling on more fondant to create some icing detail. This is actually my favorite fondant mold by Wilton's. It's discontinued. You can find it on Amazon, but it's off brand. But that's okay, as long as you're able to create awesome things with it. I was trying to create holly. I ended up changing the color of the green. I ended up going with a lighter green with a hint of yellow. So we got some holly, we got some icing detail. After that, I moved on to our top. And I'm just gonna add some more fondant to create icing detail. And then I'm gonna add this really nice bow in the middle, as well as two red buttons. Now this bow looks really nice, but it'll look better when I adjust the green. After that, I added some sixlets just to give this a hint of blue. 
And voila, my gingerbread gal was complete. What do you think? That light green makes all the difference, right? Look at that, oh my gosh. She looks so proud to be wearing that dress. I'm so proud of you for wearing that dress. And then we cut into it and... Come on guy, you're taking too long. Just push the knife down. Oh my gosh, okay, there we go. Look at that, look at those colors, man. I was originally only gonna do one doll cake, but after seeing the stripes on the inside, I'm really glad I decided to create two. I'm probably gonna do doll cakes two at a time now, just so I can create stripes on the inside. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. Look at my hair, it's crazy. I'm getting a haircut tonight, which is why I wanted to make this video with this hair so that you can see it long. And then in the next video, you'll see it super short or if I don't like my haircut because my auntie's given it to me since I can't go out, I'll be wearing a hat for the next several months. But I hope you stick around because I am very excited about the holiday content that I have coming your way. Two of them, the Santa Claus one and the present one. It's, it's pretty stunning. I hope you guys are having a good day. Stay safe. I love you. I'll see you. We will see you very soon. Bye.